Hi there, Wakar here with a short demo of FreePlug. So I'm in the dashboard of FreePlug and uh, as you can see, my dashboard is already populated with data and uh, the first thing you will notice is that you can create a quick replug link and if you have a campaign that is already uh, made in the uh, replug platform, then you can quickly paste any uh, link that will be shortened and optimized according to the campaign you select. Um, and you get an overview of uh, your whole account, how many brands you have in the account, how many campaigns, links, how many clicks you got, unique clicks, conversions, and some other stats. You can see the stats in graphical format. Uh, you can see where is your traffic coming from, uh, it, uh, which site is sending you the most traffic, which visitors uh, visitors are coming from which countries and stuff like that so it's a complete link management tool and you can see um, each and every aspect of your links um, so once you uh, sign up with replug uh, your dashboard will not be populated like this so what you need to understand uh, are these main links so we have brands campaigns and replug links so brands are uh, at the topmost in the hierarchy and uh, the campaigns come underneath the brands and the replug links are inside campaigns so the first thing you have to do is to create a brand so brand is like a product it can be um, a website it can be a brand a company so it's just like an identity and um, it's uh, depending upon your campaign sometimes it's shown uh, on your call to action uh, if you want it to be shown in the call to action otherwise uh, in some campaigns it doesn't show up uh, so it really depends but it's it's also good to segment your links uh, in different brands so for example if you have two different websites and you are creating a link for a specific website it should go into that brand um, so once you have created the creation of brand is pretty simple you just have to add your image your company name uh, and website uh, so once that is done uh, the next thing you have to do is to create a campaign now a campaign is uh, of different types it can be uh, so the first thing when creating a campaign you have to select your brand um, so the campaign can be of different type it can be just a, a shortening campaign um, it can add call to action like this uh, on third party links that you're sharing on your social media it can be a link from any website that allows iframe so it can be um, for example an article from TechCrunch or entrepreneur.com so when you share it on your social media or in your email uh, you can attach a call to action like this and whenever someone clicks on that link uh, the shortened and optimized link they will see this call to action which you can use to redirect them to your website or even you can add an opt-in form over here as well a banner and you, you can do a lot of stuff here with call to actions um, and you can also add a retargeting pixel uh, to your links uh, it can be on any third-party link um, and uh, or even your own website link or any link uh, you can add a retargeting pixel so um, and there is another option where you can add third party or custom widgets so this is uh, something where uh, you can uh, cre create or add your own custom code in the settings uh, that I'm going to show you later uh, so you can create your uh, widgets from uh, third party tools like uh, sumo uh, wishloop poptin optin monster uh, you can add even live chat codes, for example, intercom, um, drift, or any other live chat tool, or, in, or any any widget that appears upon the website. You can add it here uh, using this. So th these are the campaign types, uh, different campaign types, and um, for each campaign, you can select a custom domain as well to create branded shortened links. So, for example. Um, uh, if you want your uh, links to appear like link.yourwebsite.com, you can do that as well. Or you, if you want to have the link uh, be present on a separate website, you can do that. So you can create custom branded shortened links. Uh, that is the beauty of FreePlug. Um, I don't have any website added right now. Uh, 
for this brand uh, so I'm just gonna I'll give you a bit more uh, information regarding the campaign creation okay uh, so let's suppose that we are gonna add retargeting pixels and call to actions uh, so here you can see that you can create different types of call to actions you can change themes like this it can be like uh, uh, a full banner that appears on ex exit intent when someone wants to leave your web your website or the link where you want uh, to have the call to action you can do that as well it can be a pop-up like this or it can be a short uh, scroll box and <clears throat> uh, if you want to uh, send the leads to a specific email provider you can do that as well and you can see like we have uh, been integrated with a lot of email providers so you can send your e your collected emails straight to your chosen um, uh, email tool and if you want to add check boxes uh, for agreements uh, terms and policy and stuff like that you can do that easily <laughs> sorry about that so you can uh, change the message headline uh, you can change the message you can change a button text um, and you can link the button to any website or if you want to add uh, like a click to call uh, number you can do that as well so once the campaign is created uh, I'm gonna take you back so, so for example I have created all of these campaigns and these are different types of campaigns so for example retargeting third-party widgets call to actions so once the campaign is created you can simply go to this replug links uh, menu or this is where all of the links are shown like how they're performing uh, with stats and stuff or you can just simply go to dashboard select your campaign um, whatever campaign you want so for example if I want to shorten only and with a specific brand so this image shows the brand uh, or if you want uh, like uh, a campaign with the call to action you can simply click the campaign and we find a link so you can see that I have got a shortened link and I can even change uh, the slug of this link so for example if I just want to like branch this I can quickly do that and if I want to add any tags so for example test I can do that uh, the tags uh, you know help you to segment your <clears throat> segment your links uh, uh, easily when you are trying to view different stats in your reporting section so the link is created I'm not now gonna copy it and we'll try to open it in a new window so you can see that the TechCrunch website opens uh, the article and um, uh, our call to action has also appeared here. So anyone who visits the TechCrunch link that you have shortened is also going to see your call to action or if you have retargeting pixel, uh, you can retarget, retarget them on Facebook, um, LinkedIn, Twitter, Quora, Google or any other you know advertising network. So this is a pretty easy way just to get new traffic leads um, new custom audiences for retargeting by just sharing good quality content so if you if you find any good quality content in your niche you can simply create a replug link apply your campaign on top of it and share it with your audience uh, or even share it on different social media networks emails and spread the link around so anyone who clicks on your link will see your ad uh, on top of it and uh, you can even retarget them with uh, uh, with with any kind of offer later you want 
So uh, now let me take you to analytics section. Now once the once you have like your brands, campaigns, and links, you can simply uh, go into different sections and see how each uh, brand campaign or link is performing. Uh, you can see like uh, uh, how many clicks I have received, how many conversions, how, what's the conversion rate. Um, uh, and if I want to go into detailed view, I can do that as well. So you can see here, um, I can select any brand. Uh, so let me. So for example, okay, let's see this. Okay, I want to see this brand and this campaign, see how uh, my links are doing. So I can see like I have got. Uh, I have got, I have received uh, some more than seven thousand six hundred clicks out of the out of those four seven four thousand eight hundred approximately are unique clicks and this much conversion this is the conversion rate this is the bounce rate you can see click performance you can see conversion performance you can see uh, visitors by browser uh, so Chrome is the most used browser for my links and I'm getting most of my traffic from Windows. Um, and I am getting traffic from most of it is from US and uh, the second one is UK Canada so this helps you to see what kind of traffic is coming to your links so you can use this data uh, to even optimize your uh, ads or advertising that you're using in probably different networks like Facebook or Google or any other network where uh, you are promoting your content so you can get some quality data from this these are pure analytics for for your you know um for your marketing help that you can use later um so these are some of the basic you know uh pretty easy to set up uh, features in Replug. and one of the features that we have is for rss feeds so basically what you can do is you can simply um, add an RSS feed so for example from TechCrunch and you can just uh, apply any campaign on top of it so your RSS feed will be automatically pulled every 30 minutes and your links in the RSS feed will be shortened and you will be given a new optimized uh, RSS feed that will create your replug links inside the RSS feed so you can just simply pick that new RSS feed link and paste it into any social media a tool that can you know automate content posting to your social media channels and we have uh, contentstudio.io our second product that uh, is totally integrated with replug that you can use for this purpose as well and it has a separate module that helps you to schedule uh, RSS feed links to your social channels so you can use uh, that feature or even uh, you can just uh, you know connect to replug in content studio uh, from the content studio dashboard and all of the links that you share from content studio will be automatically optimized and shortened according to the campaign you select so let me just quickly show you the settings we have here so let's first go to the team section so uh, you can add uh, team members and you can assign them different roles so for example if I'm adding a collaborator I can select which brands and pixels I'm giving access to them and we have tags then we have a lot of integrations um, as you can see here all of these are like most of them are like email tools and you can add your custom domains if you want to create branded short links you can add retargeting pixels you can uh, add custom widgets so let me let me give you a view of your custom widgets so for example I have uh, this one uh, probably a YouTube video let's see this this is a custom widget that I have created and if I want to show a video on a third-party link I can quickly uh, select this custom widget in my campaign and then I can use it for any link I want similarly uh, let's see another link uh, now it's gonna refresh so this is a chat widget that uh, appears over here um, you can use that in your campaigns I have another one so this is basically um, it's loading and uh, I'm not really sure why it, it didn't show up 
maybe I've created I've deleted the campaign from bot ladder let me check brand quiz I think I deleted the campaign from brand quiz uh, no it's it's still there yeah but you can see that I have deleted the campaign from brand quiz already uh, yeah but you can see that you can add quizzes as well using brand quiz so you could use any third-party widget in here uh, in your campaigns and then you can create short links on top of them and then we have some small settings and we also have an API that you can use uh, if you are a developer and you want to connect replug with your application you can easily do that so I hope you like the video and uh, if you have any questions you can simply head over um, to the help section over here or go to our website and chat live with us and tell us uh, if you have any questions and we'll be happy to help you out thank you